Hey y'all, it's uh, Mike Beeble again with a, another breakdown of uh, these pieces with made with the brand new uh, Z by HP box. Um, again, we're starting out scanning something. Uh, the scanner that, that you can get with this is super, super cool and it just makes things so, so quick to just be able to grab any object and rotate it around a few times and you have a perfectly modeled perfectly textured object that you can just drop right in your scene it just saves uh, just a ton of time um so from here we're going into cinema 4d again uh using octane uh, that's another nice thing with the box is uh having a ton of, of video ram you can just drag in any sort of textures any sort of geometry and not have to worry about it and get really really fast nice clean previews super super quick so that was a, a huge advantage um, you know with the, the Z workstation um, so yeah from here I'm just sort of placing elements uh, around the scene trying to dial in uh, different uh, you know composition trying out things um, you can uh, using scatter you can uh, one of the techniques I often use instead of using grass like using hair is you can use octane scatter to, to really quickly um, take geometry and populate it through the scene to make it look like grass uh, it's just a quicker way and it gives you a lot more flexibility um, so from here I'm adding a bit of atmosphere to the scene um, and, and just sort of moving things around trying to, to figure out you know kind of what this what this sort of landscape looks like um, then here I'm, I'm taking and simulating out these sort of like ball sphere clusters uh, to put in the scene um, to give it another sort of more alien feel to it. Uh, then from here we take things into Photoshop and do some sort of compositing. I usually replace the sky in Photoshop to, to dial in the exact look that I want. And then um, we've got Topaz Labs here, another plugin that just gives it kind of a dreamy, more sort of painterly look. And that's, uh, that's about it. Thanks.